प्लीज कम इन एनी कंफर्टेबल मेडिटेटिव पोस्टर विथ योर हैंड्स ऑन योर नीज इन ज्ञान और चिन मुद्रा हेड नेक शोल्डर्स बैक ऑल इन स्ट्रेट लाइन आईज एंड माउथ जेंटली क्लोज become aware of the whole body from the top of your head to your toes awareness of your head neck shoulders arms chest upper back abdomen lower back hips both the legs the whole body shift your awareness to your breath natural spontaneous but conscious breathe awareness in your breath Shift your awareness once again to your eyebrow center, Brumadhyaya, and at your Brumadhyaya, visualize the form of your Guru or your Ishta Devata or your psychic symbol if you have one, or visualize a brightly burning candle flame. let your awareness gravitate towards this experience at the eyebrow center connect deeper with this experience and maintaining your awareness on this experience we shall chant the mantra om three times together taking in a deep breath oh सहना सहना भुन सह वीरवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्त मेद्वेश शाति 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 हरि ओ keeping your eyes closed for a few moments bring your awareness back to the eyebrow center and then gently bringing the palms together rub them again together place them on the closed eyes and then when the palms cool down gently move the palms away open your eyes हरिओ सत्सत नमो नारायण एंड अ वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑफ द चैत्र नवरात्रि योग साधना लाइक वी मेंशन ये स्टडी दैट दिस इज अ वेरी ऑस्पिशियस टाइम इट इज अ टाइम वेन एस्ट्रोनॉमिकली वी आर मूविंग out from the old into the new and when we make the transition from old to new 
or in fact when we make any transition it is in sanskrit known as a sandhi kal a junction point period a point and at this point there is a lot of energy which is available which come becomes available and our effort is to connect to this energy navratri is the period where one tries to connect with the devi energy and devi is the cosmic creatrix she is prakriti and the entire creation is a part of her being the entire creation is a part of prakriti purusha or the cosmic consciousness just triggers the changes and then is silent but it is all the activity which takes place under the sway of devi and so if we wish to make a change in our life it is her grace that is most essential for us because it is that which either deludes us or limits us and the same thing can allow us to go beyond and our effort is to be able to connect with this energy this energy which can transform negativities into positivities this energy which can so to say make impossible possible the first three days are the days of kali tamas tamas is not always bad if there was no tamas we would not sleep at night and if we don't sleep at night we don't feel rested and fresh so tamas in itself is also useful but when it goes beyond the dimensions it is supposed to be then it becomes problematic then it becomes inertia then it becomes laziness then it becomes procrastination then it becomes viciousness then it becomes desire to put somebody down so these in fact are the negative tendencies which are things which have gone beyond the normal and our aim has to be to bring them back into normal prakriti is said to be in a state of balance 33.33% tamas 33.33% rajas 33.33% sattva and that is the state when it is in dissolution and purusha comes and triggers a change and from there the entire creation begins so it is very essential to be able to connect with this aspect of devi and try to make that transformation within we all will have our negative aspects how can we convert those negative aspects into something which is beneficial for us how can we overcome them that is what is known as overcoming negativity it does not mean that we go into a utopian world that oh everything is nice everything is beautiful if anything is happening it is only for good so no whatever is happening how can i convert that into something which is positive if it is raining just to say that oh it, it is raining it must be good yes everything happens for a purpose but it is essential for us to discover the purpose to tap into the purpose to harness that and make that change in our life once we do that then there is nothing which is negative there is nothing which is bad even the best of the things can go waste and even if it is the most trivial of the things that can make a very powerful change in life this change is what we need to do and as aspirants of yoga we need to connect with this energy this is also the period 
where we connect with Shri Ram. There was a talk going on just before our session started, asking about what has Navratri to do with Shri Ram. Shri Ram was a historical figure, but superimposed on that historical figure is a spiritual truth. Shri Ram was or is considered to be Maryada Purushottam. What does Maryada mean? Maryada means the necessity to do what is appropriate, what is correct, what is needed to be done and not going beyond that at whatever personal cost. And you will see this is the quality which has been reflected in the life of Sri Ram all along. This is the time that we can connect with this energy. Lord Krishna is the Leela avatar. But Lord Ram is the Maryada Purushottam avatar. This is the time when we have to imbibe those qualities, Maryada. And what does Maryada mean? That is something we will discuss tomorrow. That is something which I would like you to ponder over, think over. What does Maryada mean? So that when we discuss about it tomorrow, we have a deeper understanding. And now, let us move ahead in our Anushthan. Let us undertake one small asana so that we can align the energies of the body, a small pranayam, and then we will go into the chanting and a short meditation. So we shall perform Skanda Chakra, a very simple asana, but we need to do it in three stages. The first stage is with physical awareness, the next with breath awareness, and the third with mind awareness. Using the body, using the asana, we are actually working on the mind and the mental energy. So please sit straight and get ready for the practice of Skanda Chakra. Close your eyes gently, hands on your knees, and awareness of the body, awareness of the head, of the neck, of the shoulders, of the arms, of the chest, and the back. Awareness of the posture, of the muscle tone, and awareness of the different muscle groups in this area. Now with full awareness, slowly we raise the hands to shoulder level. Palms facing upwards. Observe that both the palms are facing the skies. The arms are parallel to each other at shoulder level. Neither up nor down. Neither close nor far. Awareness of that. Now join the fingers together. Bend the elbows, fingers on the shoulder, join the elbows and with full awareness, keeping aware of the mo movement of the muscles and activation of different groups of the muscles, we will begin the first round, raising the elbows up, back, down, in front, awareness on the body up, back, down, and in front, third round up, back, down, and in front. Now start breathing in consciously, continue breathing. And as the elbows start going below the shoulder level, start breathing out. Keep breathing out. Synchronize your breath with the movement. Start breathing in as the elbows go up. Second round. 
Start breathing out as the elbows go down. Start breathing in as the elbows come up. Breathing out. Bring the elbows to shoulder level. Hold them there for a moment. Close your eyes and mentally visualize this practice. No physical movement, only mental practice. And when we are doing this mental practice, try and visualize the perfect movement, the 100% movement. Imagine that the shoulder is moving complete 360 degrees. Now we shall do three more rounds with awareness of the body and synchronizing it with the mental movement. Start, take the elbows up, back, down, and in front, up, back, down, and in front. Last round, up, back, down, and in front. Bring the elbow to shoulder level. Extend the arms. Bring the hands down. Close the eyes gently for a moment. Become aware of the effect of this practice on the head, on the neck, shoulders, upper back, chest. The effect of this practice on your breath. And the effect of this practice on the mind, thoughts and emotions. Maintaining this awareness, we shall go for the opposite direction, counterclockwise movement. Once again, bring the awareness to the body. And with awareness of the body and awareness of the muscular movements, raise the arms at shoulder level. Observe the postures, palms upwards, arms parallel to each other and parallel to the ground. Join the fingers together, bend at elbow, join the elbows, fingers on the shoulder, opposite direction, with full awareness of the muscles being used, elbows go down, back, up, and in front, second round, down, back, up, and in front, third round, down, back, up, and in front. Now start breathing out as the elbows go down. As the elbows come up, start breathing in. Smooth movements, smooth breath, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Complete the practice, hold the elbows at horizontal level and visualize this practice mentally. Perform one mental rotation with complete perfection. And after one complete rotation, then we shall try and synchronize the mental and the physical. Start moving the elbows on the physical level as well as mentally down, back, up, and in front, down, back, up, and in front, last round down, back, up, and in front. Elbows 
at shoulder level. Straighten your arms. Bring them gently to the floor, to the knees. Close your eyes. Observe the effect of this practice on the body, the breath, and the mind. Now we shall, keeping our eyes closed, we shall move ahead into Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. We shall do Nadi Shodhan Pranayam in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. One inhalation, one internal retention, one exhalation, one external retention. And we shall do this with and to the count of the mantra. I shall chant the mantra and you will do the Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. For Nadi Shodhan Pranayam, bring your hand in Nasagra Mudra, bring your right hand, the index and middle fingers are stretched upwards, thumb outwards, ring and little finger bent, turn it round, and as you place it on the eyebrow center, make sure that the wrist and the phalangeal joints are straight in an effort to keep the tip of the fingers at the eyebrow center many times people will either bend at this joint or bend at this joint both are not correct because they will tire you out very quickly and your awareness will move away from breathing into the body so keep your body relaxed wrist straight like this and then we shall begin if you feel tired, you can use the opposite hand and rest your elbow so that there is no difficulty. We will be doing three rounds. Come to Nasagra Mudra. We will begin with the left nostril with the mantra Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. So with one mantra, we will inhale internal retention, exhale external retention. Let us begin now. Inhaling through the left. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Hold. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Exhale right. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Hold. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Inhale right. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Hold. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Exhale left. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Hold. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Inhale left. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Hold. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Exhale right. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Hold. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Inhale right. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Hold. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Exhale left. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Hold. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. Continue and do three more rounds at your own pace, chanting the mantra mentally to yourself. Om Ram Rama Yanamaha. This is the mantra. Continue three more rounds.
take a couple of three rounds. Keep your eyes closed and gently bring your hand back to the knee. Keep on observing the effect of this short asan and pranayam on the body and the mind. Observe the alignment of the energies, tranquility, alertness, energy. Now we shall move ahead into the chanting of the mantras. We shall be doing a set of mantras. We shall begin with the Mahamrityan Jai Mantra, followed by Gayatri, followed by Durga Dwatrinchen Namamala, then the Mantra of Positivity, followed by the Sri Ramaraksha Stotram, and to conclude the Sri Ramastati. To begin, Bring the image of Mrityunjay Mahadev at your eyebrow center. Mrityunjay Mahadev, the conqueror of disease, decay, darkness, and death. And taking the sankalpa of health, harmony, and happiness. We take the blessings of Mahadev and we shall chant the Mahamrityunjaya Mantra 11 times. I shall chant the first mantra and you will join in for the next 10. Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanan Nutyor Mukshi Yamamrutata Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vapandhanan Mrityor Mukshi Yamamrutata Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vapandhanan Mrityor Mukshi Yamamrutata Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vapandhanan Mrityor Mukshi Yamamrutata Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vapandhanan Mrityor Mukshi Yamamrutata Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vapandhanan Mrityor Mukshi Yamamrutata Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vapandhanan Mrityor Mukshi Yamamrutata Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vapandhanam Mrityor Mukshi Yamamrutata Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vapandhanam Mrityor Mukshi Yamamrutata Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vapandhanam Mrityor Mukshi Yamamrutata Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vapandhanam Mrityor Mukshi Yamamrutata Om Shanti 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 Experience the effect of the chanting of the mantra within yourself. Now, bring to your mind the image of Surya Narayana, the symbol of energy and prana, vitality, the essence of life. Install him at your eyebrow center. And take the sankalpa of increased creativity, improved capabilities, higher wisdom, and better discrimination. 
take the blessings of Surya Narayana. And with this Sankalpa, we shall chant the Gayatri Mantra 11 times. I shall chant the first mantra and you can join in for the next 10. Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devas Yadhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devas Yadhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devas Yadhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devas Yadhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devas Yadhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devas Yadhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devas Yadhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devas Yadhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devas Yadhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devas Yadhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devas Yadhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat Om Shanti 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 Keeping your eyes closed, experience the effect of the mantra on the body, mind, emotions, psyche. Now, bring to your mind the image of Ma in the form of Durga, the flare of demons. Durgati Nashini Durga Jay Jay. Kala Vinashini Kali Jay Jay. And install her in your heart. Feel her grace. With great humility, take the Sankalpa, requesting her for slaying the demons of difficulty, distress, hardships, and despair. And with this Sankalpa, we shall chant the Durga Dwatrinchen Namavala, the 32 names of Ma Durga, three times together. The first round will be a slight slow and the pace will pick up in the next two rounds. Om Durga Durga Arti Shamani Durga Padvini Varini Durga Machedini Durga Sadhini Durga Nashini Durga Todharini Durga Nihantri Durga Mapaha Durga Madhyanada Durga Daitya Loka Davanala, Durga Ma, Durga Ma Loka, Durga Matma Swarupini, Durga Marga Prada, Durga Ma Vidya, Durga Ma Shrita, Durga Madhyana Saustana, Durga Madhyana Bhasini, Durga Moha, Durga Maga, Durga Martha Swarupini, Durga Ma Sura Sauhantri, Durga Ma Yudadharini, Durga Ma Angi, Durga Mata, Durga Mya, Durga Meshwari, Durga Bhima, Durga Bhama, Durga Bha, Durga Dharini, Om. Om Durga Durga Arti Shamani, Durga Padvini Varini, Durga Machedini, Durga Sadini, Durga Nashini, 
दुर्गतो धारिणी दुर्ग निहंत्री दुर्ग मापहा दुर्ग न ज्ञान दा दुर्ग दैत्य लोक दवानला दुर्ग मा दुर्ग मा लोका दुर्ग मात्म स्वरूपिणी दुर्ग मार्ग प्रदा दुर्गम विद्या दुर्गम आश्रिता दुर्गम ज्ञान संस्थान दुर्गम ध्यान भाषिनी दुर्ग मोहा दुर्ग मगा दुर्ग मार्थ स्वरूपिणी दुर्ग मासुर संहंत्री दुर्ग मायुध धारिणी दुर्ग मांगी दुर्ग मता दुर्ग म्या दुर्ग मेश्वरी दुर्ग भीमा दुर्ग भामा दुर्ग भा दुर्ग धारिणी ओ ओम दुर्गा दुर्गा शमनी दुर्गा पद निवारिणी दुर्ग मच्छेदिनी दुर्ग साधिनी दुर्ग नाशिनी दुर्ग तो धारिणी दुर्ग निहंत्री दुर्ग मापहा दुर्ग न ज्ञान दा दुर्ग दैत्य लोक दवानला दुर्ग मा दुर्ग मा लोका दुर्ग मात्म स्वरूपिणी दुर्ग मार्ग प्रदा दुर्गम विद्या दुर्ग माश्रिता दुर्ग मज्ञान संस्थान दुर्ग मध्यान भाषिनी दुर्ग मोहा दुर्ग मगा दुर्ग मार्थ स्वरूपिणी दुर्ग मासुर संहंत्री दुर्ग मायुध धारिणी दुर्ग मांगी दुर्ग मता दुर्ग म्या दुर्ग मेश्वरी दुर्ग भीमा दुर्ग भामा दुर्ग भा दुर्ग धारिणी ओ experience the effect of the chanting of the mantra its effect on the body the mind the emotions and the psyche and now bring to your mind the image of the trigunatmika form of devi kali lakshmi saraswati तमस रजस सत्व इच्छा शक्ति क्रिया शक्ति ज्ञान शक्ति इंस्टॉल देम इन योर हार्ट फील देयर ग्रेस कंपैशन एंड लव एंड टेक द संकल्प ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन of negativities to positivities manasa pacha karmana in thought word and deed on an individual level social level civilizational level too and with this sankalpa taking the blessings of ma we shall chant the mantra of positivity the siddha kunchika stotra mantra i shall chant it the first time and you will join me for the next ten om aim hrim klim chamundaye vichche om glaum hum klim jum sah jwale jwale jwala jwala prajwala prajwala aim hrim klim chamundaye vichche jwala hum samlam champat swaha ओम ऐं ह्रीं क्लीं चामुंडाये विच्चे ओम ग्लौं हूं क्लीं जूं सह ज्वाले ज्वाले ज्वल ज्वल प्रज्वल प्रज्वल ऐं ह्रीं क्लीं चामुंडाये विच्चे ज्वल हूं समलं चंफट स्वाहा ओम ऐं ह्रीं क्लीं चामुंडाये विच्चे ओम ग्लौं हूं क्लीं जूं सह ज्वाले ज्वाले ज्वल ज्वल प्रज्वल प्रज्वल ऐं ह्रीं क्लीं चामुंडाये विच्चे ज्वल हूं समलं चंफट स्वाहा ओम ऐं ह्रीं क्लीं चामुंडाये विच्चे ओम ग्लौं हूं क्लीं जूं सह ज्वाले ज्वाले ज्वल ज्वल प्रज्वल प्रज्वल ऐं ह्रीं क्लीं चामुंडाये विच्चे ज्वल हूं समलं चंफट स्वाहा ओम ऐं ह्रीं क्लीं चामुंडाये विच्चे ओम ग्लौं हूं क्लीं जूं सह 
ज्वाले ज्वाले ज्वल ज्वल प्रज्वल प्रज्वल ऐं ह्री क्लीं चामुंडाए विचे ज्वल हं सं फट स्वाह ओं ऐं ह्री क्लीं चामुंडाए विचे ओं ग्लौं हूं क्लीं जूं सह ज्वाले ज्वाले ज्वल ज्वल प्रज्वल प्रज्वल ऐं ह्री क्लीं चामुंडाए विचे ज्वल हं सं फट स्वाह ओं ऐं ह्री क्लीं चामुंडाए विचे ओं ग्लौं हूं क्लीं जूं सह ज्वाले ज्वाले ज्वल ज्वल प्रज्वल प्रज्वल ऐं ह्री क्लीं चामुंडाए विचे ज्वल हं सं फट स्वाह ओं ऐं ह्री क्लीं चामुंडाए विचे ओं ग्लौं हूं क्लीं जूं सह ज्वाले ज्वाले ज्वल ज्वल प्रज्वल प्रज्वल ऐं ह्री क्लीं चामुंडाए विचे ज्वल हं सं फट स्वाह ओं ऐं ह्री क्लीं चामुंडाए विचे ओं ग्लौं हूं क्लीं जूं सह ज्वाले ज्वाले ज्वल ज्वल प्रज्वल प्रज्वल ऐं ह्री क्लीं चामुंडाए विचे ज्वल हं सं फट स्वाह ओं ऐं ह्री क्लीं चामुंडाए विचे ओं ग्लौं हूं क्लीं जूं सह ज्वाले ज्वाले ज्वल ज्वल प्रज्वल प्रज्वल ऐं ह्री क्लीं चामुंडाए विचे ज्वल हं सं फट स्वाह ओं ऐं ह्री क्लीं चामुंडाए विचे ओं ग्लौं हूं क्लीं जूं सह ज्वाले ज्वाले ज्वल ज्वल प्रज्वल प्रज्वल ऐं ह्री क्लीं चामुंडाए विचे ज्वल हं सं फट स्वाह ओ शांति 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 ही हरि ही ओ Feel the effect of the mantra reverberating within. Feel the generation of energy. Now we shall chant the Sri Rama Raksha Stotra. The mantras dedicated to Sri Ram. And this is a very powerful mantra, which bestows protection and a psychic shield and armor, so that we can protect ourselves from the different distracting, detrimental, and deleterious impacts which hit us during the day in our interactions outside. It also strengthens and makes positive the changes within so it works outside as well as inside shri ram raksha sto om shri ganesha yanamaha asya shri ram raksha stotra mantrasya buddha kaushik rushihi shri sita ramachandro devata अनुष्टुप सीता शक्ति श्रीमद हनुमान कीलक श्री रामचंद्र प्रीत्यर्थे राम रक्षा स्त्रोत्र मंत्र जपे विनियोग अथ ध्यान ध्यादाजानुबाहुम धृतशरधनुषम बद्ध पद्मासनस्थ पीतम वासो वसानम नवकमलदल स्पर्धि नेत्र प्रसन्न वाकारूढ़ सीता मुखकमल नीलोचन नीरदाभम नालंकारदीप्त दधत मुजटा मंडन रामचंद्रमति ध्यान चरित रघुनाथ से शतकोटि प्रवेस्तर एककमर पुंसा महापातकनाशनम ध्यावा नीलोत्पल श्याम रामं राजीवलोचन जानकी लक्ष्मणोपेत जटा मुकुटमंडित सा सीतून धनुर्बाण पाणी नक्त चरातक स्वलीलया जगत्रा आविर्भूतमज विभु राम रक्षा पठे प्राज्ञ पापग्नि सर्वकामदा 
शिरो मे राघव पातु भालम दशरथात्मज कौसल्येदृश पात विश्वामित्र प्रिय श्रुति घ्राण पात मखत्राता मुखम सौमित्री वत्सल जिह्वां विद्या निधि पात कंठम भरत वंदिता स्कंधौ दिव्याुध पात भुज भग्नेश कामुख करौ सीतापति पात हृदय जामदिजित मध्यम पात खरध्वंसी नाभिम जाम्बवदाश्रय सुग्रीवेश कटी पात सखिनी हनुमत प्रभु कुरूरगुत्तम पात रक्ष कुल विनाशकृत जानुनी सेतु पात जंघे दश मुखा पाद विभीषण श्रीद पातुरा मुखिल वपुता राम बलोपेता रक्षा युकृति पठेत सचिरायु सुखी पुत्री विजयी विनयी भवेत पाताल भूतल व्योम चारिण छदारिण न द्रष्टुमी शक्तास्ते रक्षित राम नाम रामेति राम भद्रेति रामचंद्रेति वास्मर नरो न लिप्यते पापै भुक्ति मुक्ति विंदति जगज्जेत्रेकमंत्रेण राम नामनाक्षित ये धारे तस्था सर्व सिद्धय वज्रपंजर नादम यो राम कवचम स्मरेत अव्याहताज्ञसर्वत्र लभते जय मंगल आदिष्टवान्था स्वप्ने राम रक्षा मा हर तथा लिखितवान्त प्रबुद्धो बुध कौशिक आराम कल्पवृक्षाण विराम सकलापदाभिराम स्त्रीलोकाम श्रीमासन प्रभु तरुण रूप संपन्न सुकुम महाबल पुंडरीक विशालाक्ष चीर कृष्णाजिनांबर फलमूलाशिन दात कापसौ ब्रह्मचारिण पुत्र दशरथ सेत भ्रातर राम लक्ष्मण शरण्यौ सर्वसत्वान्ना श्रेष्ठ सर्वधनुष्मता रक्षकुल निहंताता नो रघुत्तम आत सज्ज धनुषा विसुस्पृशा वक्षया शुगनिशंग संगिन रक्षणा मम राम लक्ष्मण अग्रत पथि सदैव गच्छता सन्नद्ध कवची खड्गी चाप बाण धरो युवा गच्छन मनोरथोस्माक राम पात स लक्ष्मण रामोदाशरथी शूरो लक्ष्मणाचरो बली काकुस्थ पुष पूर्ण कौसल्येयो रघुत्तम वेदात वेद्यो यज्ञेश पुराण पुषोत्तम जानकी वल्लभ श्रीमान अप्रमेय पराक्रम इेता जपन नित्यम मद्भक्त श्रद्धयान्वता अश्वेधाधिक पुण्यम संप्राप्नोति न संशय राम दुर्वादल श्याम पद्माक्षम पीतवा ससन स्तुवती नाम भीर्दीर्वैर न ते संसारिणो नर राम लक्ष्मण पूर्वज रघुवर सीतापति सुंदर काकुत्स्थम करुणाणव गुण निधि विप्र प्रिय धाक राजेन्द्रम सत्यसंधम दशरथ तनय श्यामल शातमूर्ति वंदे लोकाभिराम रघुकुल तिलक राघव रावणारी राय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेधसे रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताया पत नम श्रीराम राम रघुनंदन राम राम श्रीराम राम भरताग्रज राम राम श्रीराम राम रणकर्कश राम राम श्रीराम राम शरण भव राम राम श्रीरामचंद्र चरण मनसा स्मरा श्रीरामचंद्र चरण वचसा गृणा श्रीरामचंद्र चरण शिसा नमा श्रीरामचंद्र चरण शरण प्रपद्ये 
माता रामो मत पिता रामचंद्र स्वामी रामो मत सखा रामचंद्र सर्वस्व मे रामचंद्रो दयालु नान्यम जाने नैव जाने न जाने दक्षिणे लक्ष्मणो यस्य वामे तु जनकात्मजा पुरतो मारुतिर्यस्य तम वंदे रघुनंदनम लोकाभिराम रणरंग धीरम राजीव नेत्र रघुवंशनाथ कारुण्य रूपम करुणाक श्रीरामचंद्रम शरण प्रपद्ये मनोजव मारुतुल्य वेगम जितेन्द्रिय बुद्धिमता वरिष्ठ वातात्मज वानरयूथ मुख्यम श्रीराम दूत शरण प्रपद्ये पूजत राम रामेति मधुर मधुराक्षर आरुह्य कविता शाखा वंदे वाकिखिल आपदापहर्ता दाता सर्वसंपदा लोकाभिराम श्रीराम भूयो भूयो नमाम्यहम भर्जनम भवबीजा अर्जनम सुख संपदा तर्जनम यमदूताम रामेति गर्जनम रामो राजमणि सदा विजयते रामम रमेशम भजे रामेणाभिहता निशा चरचमु राय तस्म नम रास्त परायण परतर राम से दासोस्म्यहम रामे चित्तल सदा भवतु मे भो राम मुद्धर राम रामेति रामेति रमे रामे मनोरमे सहस्रनाम तत्ल्यम राम नाम वरानने श्री बुध कौशिक विरचित श्रीराम रक्षा स्त्रोत्र संपूर्ण श्री सीता रामचंद्रापणमस्तु ओ and for this bring your heart connect to shri ram with your emotions shri ram chandra kripal braj mana charana bhav bhag charu ंजमुखित अमित छवि नव नील नीरज सुंदर अटपीतमुचिशुचि जनक सुखावरीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीतीती
ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಕೃಪಾಲು ಭಜುಮನ ಶರಣ ಭವ ಭಯಧಾರುಣ ಭವಕೃಂಗಲೋತ್ಮನ ಕಂಜ ಮುಖಕರ ಕಂಜ ಪದ ಕಂಜಾರು ಕಂಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಯು ಅಪ್ಲಿಫ್ಟಿಂಗ್ and covering you completely and with this we shall conclude bring the awareness back to the eye center and bring the same image which you had chosen in the beginning focus on that image for a few moments and then keeping your awareness on this experience we shall chant the mantra om three times together followed by the shanti pa taking in a deep breath om ಸದ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋಮ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮೃತ ಗಮಯ ಸಾಂತಿರ್ಭೂರ್ಣ ಮಂಗಲ ಲೋಕಾಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ತ್ರಂಬಕ ಯಜಾಮಹೆ ಸುಗಂಧಿ ಪುಷ್ಟಿವರ್ಧನ ಪೂರ್ವಾರುಕಮಿವ ಬಂಧನ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮುಕ್ಷೀಯಮೃತ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ ಮುದ್ರ ಸ್ವಮೇವ ಮಾತಾ ಚಿತಾತ್ವೇವೇವ ಬಂಧುಶ್ಚ ಸಖಾತ್ವೇವೇವ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ದ್ರವಿಣ ತ್ವೇವ ಸರ್ವ ಮಮ ದೇವ ದೇವ ತ್ವೇವ ಸರ್ವ ಮಮ ದೇವ ದೇವ ತ್ವೇವ ಸರ್ವ ಮಮ ದೇವ ದೇವ
Gently rubbing the palms against each other. Generate some warmth. Place the palms on the closed eyes. And when the palms cool down and you feel comfortable, gently move the palms away. Open your eyes. Ariyo, Tatsat, Namonarayan. With this, we complete today's chanting. And let us keep this energy deep within us so that we are able to keep our connection and day by day deepen and strengthen our connection so that we can make incremental changes. Pratipat Chandra Lekheva. Today morning, somebody shared the wishes of New Year with Pratipat Chandra Lekheva. It's a beautiful thought. From Amavasya to Purnima, every day the moon keeps on growing, the waxing of the moon. And in the same manner, let our life become more auspicious, more jungle <coughs> and more fruitful. Let that be our sankalpa and our prayer. And uh, somebody has put something in the chat. Yes. The best wishes of the new Samvatsar to all. Thank you, Bharti. And all. Best wishes to you from all of us also. And if we have some time, five minutes or so, if somebody has any questions, we can take some questions. I have unmuted you. You can unmute yourself. Or you can put the question in the chat box. Uh, Swamiji, uh, these uh, mantras okay. and prayers, uh, how are they related to our inner journey? Because we are transforming, right? This is all transformation. So uh, it's a very broad question. So maybe oh, it's a wonderful question because you see, finally, we need to understand everything which happens is happening within. We might see something outside, but the perception is inside and the cognition is inside. The image of a beautiful flower and the image of something very repulsive. Both are dispassionately transmitted by the organs. But it is only in here, in the brain, that the perception takes place. And therefore, it is very essential that we need to clear up that inner aspect of ourselves. We have lost connection with that inner aspect. And so, it is essential that we slowly reconnect to ourselves. And when we reconnect and go into a house which has been left unattended for long, the moment you go inside, it's full of dust. You have cobwebs here. You have uh, rat shit here. You have lizard shit there. You have, you know, smell and everything which is unpleasant coming in. So that is what you will find inside. And that we need to start taking out. That in itself is the bulk of the journey. Once that happens, everything else is very easy. But this is not easy. Because we have very, very carefully brought all that muck and kept it inside. Now, consciously we need to start getting it out. And we need to do a lot of unlearning. This is not an easy journey to allow us to actually proceed on this journey, we need to work on our mind and we need to work on the different energy levels within. The asana which we did, the pranayam which we did, the mantra chanting which we did, the short meditation we did, they all have an impact on the centers within, the chakras. 
Mm. And these slowly start making a difference. On a more physical level, they have an impact on our hormonal system. They have an impact on our autonomic system, sympathetic, parasympathetic. That changes our thoughts, that changes our emotions, that changes our ability to respond to things. And is that not what we want? Forget about higher experiences. They are beyond all of us at the moment. Mm. But can I not be civil to a person who is in front of me? Mm. Can I not be more perceptive and sensitive to the pain of another? Can I not mm. be more conscious in what I need to do? Can I not be more in control of myself so that I don't do something which I regret later on? And mm. words once spoken never come back. So the damage is always done. How can I change myself so that I can expect the change and the desired result and make myself happy? So this is the journey which we need to begin. And to do that, we need some reinforcement. It is said, Duryodhan had said this to Lord Krishna, Janami Dharmam Najami Pravrutti. I know this is correct. This is something which should be done. It's not that I don't know. But my mind does not go there. Mm. Whatever I try, it doesn't happen. It's not in me, so to say. So now when this is a situation, how can we change ourselves? We can't pop a pill and change ourselves. Mm. To do that change, this is the path. Of, this is one of the paths. There are hundreds and thousands of paths. But in today's times, this is one of the simplest and most powerful and mm. effective path. And that is what we will be doing during the next. And uh, for all those who have joined, I would also like to invite you for the four-day yoga conclave, Satyam Yoga Conclave, which will be taking on 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. I shall share the details of that. I think I've already shared the details in the group. And for those who are not in the group, I would request Shrikanji to share the uh, group details so people can join in. And uh, I will also uh, share the invitation of the conclave. This question which you asked Rajendra, yes. this is the question which we will be answering there. There okay. will be four different themes on every day. On the first day, wellness and yoga. How can we bring in wellness in our life? That will be spoken of, discussed and practices relevant to that will be practiced. On the second day, education, learning and yoga. On the third day, we shall take up cancer and yoga. Mm. And on the last day, ecology and yoga. So we will be having these four major themes, one mm. on every day. And there will be interaction, there will be conversations, there will be practices and techniques, and also mm. panel discussions. So mm. uh, I would invite you and purposely I have kept it at the end of this Navratri chanting because we have now begun a journey and this journey takes us to something which can make a transformation within us. So with this invitation and with the prayer that the connection which we have developed and the connection which we want to develop may grow deeper and stronger with every day that we do this Anushthan. Let us take leave today and we will meet tomorrow once again at the same time, 6.30 a.m. Indian time.